Hey Les, just wanted to drop this little video by for you. Uh, video just seems to be an easier way to communicate what I was trying to write out in the email. But what you can do is on your master section, this is your scene row, if you right click over any given box, you can actually see you've got a, a function called edit launch tempo. And what that does is it allows you to put the tempo of the song in that scene box. So that when you click on that particular uh, button of scene, it will actually start your song in that BPM. So you can see this one is uh, 85 BPM. And then if I come down here to 138 BPM, it changes the tempo. So that could be the beginning of your next song. What I have typically done is used these uh, tempo launches to be the click off for each song. So unfortunately, you can't say, okay, the over arrow is going to start the next song. But what you can do is set up the beginning, your click off of your song and edit the launch tempo. And then have the verse and the chorus ending, so on and so forth after each one of those. Understanding that you have to click the count off. In other words, if I hit 138 and then go down here below 71 BPM and click on verse, it's going to stay at 138. So even though it goes to that scene. So you got to make sure you go to your song and count that new song off. And now you can go to your verse and it'll stay at that tempo. So that's one workaround. Again, you have, you, each one would have a, its own key assignment. You know, go here and... I've done this where, okay, song number one, song number two, song number three, and then I have done corresponding such as this, and then go to the next row. Of course, if you have a controller, this whole process is a lot easier to do this, um, but this is one way to do it. So now if I hit number one on my keyboard, it's going to start off my click off at 85 BPI. BPM. Then I'll hit the number two key. Now I'm at 138. I hit key number three. Goes to the 71. And then E and D are my verse and breakdown. So that is your workaround that you could do for that. Uh, hope that helps. Um, unfortunately, the controller is just a lot easier to to use if you can get your hands on one. There's all different kinds of MIDI controllers out there and they're fairly inexpensive. You can even get, if you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone or an iPad, you can get very inexpensive controllers to do this same thing uh, with that, which is pretty slick. So hope this helps. Take it easy.